Look at that dot, Patrick. I am. I'm Stare into doing the, that for the last five minutes. Stare into the dot. And people say iOS games have nothing to offer. I can't do that, Patrick. All right. <laughs> Let's play I, hundreds. I seriously could sit here and stare at it, though. Uh, yeah, this is hundreds. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not good at hundreds. I gave up on hundreds. Oh, I'm way further than you. I, think, I should just brought my iPad over. I think it's a pretty good game. Oh, yeah. I, oh, man. You aren't even going to be... Oh, man. The levels get so fucked up later. What are the red dots? Is that where you get a, uh, an encoded message? Yeah. All right. We'll get to that later. If you so, have... this is uh, from Semi-Secret Software. Uh, the... Oh, no. I should have turned on uh, turned off notifications. <laughs> the Nope. This is the iOS experience, Brad. I guess uh, it is. The creators of Cannibal. Oh, no. Uh, along with some um, additional collaborators. Ah... I'm not doing this, well here uh, at all. Just past the hundred thousand mark. Uh, uh, in terms sales. of sales, mm -hmm. is that something they just release themselves? The, those figures, yes. like Apple doesn't put out sales numbers. Mm, no, it's uh, Got it. you know, it's it's Steam like in that it is entirely up to you uh, what you disclose, and I don't know. I believe Steam actually restricts what you can disclose. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what is uh, restricted uh, on on iOS. But yeah, the ba basic concept is you're touching stuff and you need to get to 100. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, that's the whole point of the game. Make the dots equal 100. Uh, the tra Whoa, the trailer they put out for this the day it came out was not especially descriptive. Like, I watched that trailer and was like, I still don't know what the game is. So, if you had the same experience, here you go. Oh, well, it got people chatty. Uh, whoa! Oh, man. So they, they, they quickly, I'm, I'm replaying some levels here, but they quickly start rolling out kind of twists on the mechanics, like... A lot of these that will only expand uh, when you touch both of them at one time. Mm -hmm. Kind of like linked dots or whatever. Also, I haven't played this in a while, so... Get my hundreds legs back. It's a lot of fun. Whoa. Uh, and also, incredibly infuriating. Yeah, man. Should I just jump up to where I am? Yeah, jump up to where you are. Let's see what we got here. Also, the way it handles progression is a little bit odd. So it basically unlocks like sets of levels, right? Or you 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 can you can always jump to like the next ten levels. You can, but you have to. It is not clear to me. The game does not make it explicitly clear. Like sometimes I'll get through like seven levels, and then the next ten will open. So I believe you don't actually have to finish all ten in order to open the next ten. But I don't know if that means, hey, just finish oh. seven. Like I, it doesn't. There's not like a completion percentage. Oh, that's that's right. I remember how to beat this one. So I figured I would show off the saw blade because fuck the saw blade. Um, but also, uh, we haven't really talked about how you fail, which is for basically whenever something is red. Yep. If it's if it touches anything as it's red, which means while your finger's on it, then that's how you lose. It is. You got it. So, all right. Now that we've established that, it was getting a little framey there. We're this is our it's literally our first iPad quick look, so we're still figuring this stuff out. It seemed to be. Dropping some frames, but generally when you're playing it, it's it's ultra smooth. Uh, just, sometimes just, just so that happens know. with the notifications. Oh, okay, so maybe it's not even the TV out that's causing it. Oh, I hated uh, this one too. You know what? I already finished this one. I'm just gonna fail it. Let's move on. I wish it did have an ability to bring up the menu mid round. Oh, uh, remember this, this one infuriated I hate you. This one. Yeah, you already fucked it up. Actually, I think I'm. Oh, oh God. Yeah. So this one, uh, this was is one where if you don't get it right off the bat, you have to start over. Well, I'm sure you can wait, uh, but it well, it's it's easiest to have done right off the bat. You're right, because the problem is that the the amount of space that blade covers starts to shrink. Uh, wait, have I beaten this one? I thought I did beat it. Maybe I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess I did the other day. I played. A, I started playing this on my phone the day it came out. Uh, right. Right. Okay. So I actually got a little further than this on my phone, but. Uh, this game is not great on the phone, unfortunately. Uh, it's just as it becomes more complex, the complexity is derived from having to touch more things oh. or having uh, more objects on the screen to manipulate. And so while it kind of it works, uh, it's it's just a much more pleasing experience on the iPad because you just have more real estate. Oh yeah, you just can't see the stuff you're tapping on half the time on that smaller screen. Oh uh, man, this is really funny to I watch. I, you. I think I've boned this one too. Well, part one of the mistakes you're making is you're pressing them one at a time. Uh, one of the skill sets, you, one of the skill sets you start to pick up later is you need to be hitting two at once, uh, especially the ones that are moving, um, because then you may only get you know 13 out of one, but you're getting 26 before you hit that 
collide with another one. But close! Oh, god damn it. This is really hard yep. to do. Yep. With any sort of pressure. Fuck. It's... This is no different than when I'm playing it by myself. Yeah. It is just as infuriating. <laughs> god damn it, man. I got no room. Kind of going as far as I can go here. I swear I've beaten this level before. So at this point, I feel like at one point I got them to start bouncing off in random directions on this one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah, I mean, like now you've run into the problem where you have them like kind of scrunched together, and there's not yeah, enough there's momentum for them to push. Yeah, there's push themselves not a lot the I can do at that point. Shit, man! Oh, you were close there. I don't think you're being fast enough. I think you need to complete this pretty much up front. Yeah, probably right. Uh, there's some middle ones that you're leaving some points on the table with. Maybe if I try that, start with the middle ones. You got, ah! you got further. You got into the yeah, 70s. Yeah, that was pretty close. Fuck, man. <laughs> At least it's super forgiving about starting over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there. so close. Yeah, you might have actually had that one. So I think if I, if I get ones. those two there... Oh, man. Okay, I think I've got a strategy now. If I get these two right here, and don't screw it up. And then immediately get these two. Nope. How about those two? Close. Nope. Then I'll lose those outside ones. Um. Oh. This is a hard game to give advice to. Yeah. Because it's it's like all about you experimenting and seeing. Right. So, like so many what of them feels good. Yeah. So many of them you just sort of like luck into beating. I'm fuck now. Ah! I don't want to skip levels. I hate skipping levels in a game like this. Even even though it lets you, I could go on to the next like ten levels right now if I wanted. Yeah, I, I wonder if that is intentional, where it doesn't surface, uh, you know, complete seven of ten in order to unlock the next ten, precisely because they want you to finish each stage. And if you were to surface that, you might be tempted to skip around a little more often. Ah! There's just not enough room on those. For these in the middle. I, I think you need to start in the middle because what's happening is you're running out of time yeah. with those outside ones, and those outside ones are going to inevitably touch the blades. The middle ones, oh, wait, you have was, more that time. Was a, that was an outside one. You're right. Like, I think you need to get that... Yeah. But then they all bunch up like that. Well, so try the two middle limited. ones at the very beginning and try and get, like, 15 out of each. Like, the, they all start in a row. What if I use four fingers? You well, could. That would be really hard to not make them touch, though. Yes. You see what I mean? Those two in the middle? Oh, uh, yep. Like that. Oh, there's a bunch. Are you oh, you're talking about the very middle? The very middle. But I'm wondering if you can do it before they get hit. Oh! Oh, I see what you're saying. Right? Alright. Oh. No. Shit. Oh, I missed. Well, because what you want, what you, what you, he, so he, here's the strategy. Okay, okay, we're going about this wrong. You want to go from the out, from the inside out. And the idea being, like, try and get as much, even if you're doing one tap or two tap in the middle, then move outward. So close! Yeah, you're, you're doing, if you're doing the outward ones, we're never going to finish the stage. Uh, but you don't, you just don't get enough room on the, the, the middle we, Yeah, but just work, be patient, be patient. Even if you only get two or three in okay. each tap. all right. And then, ultimately, what's going to happen then is then you want to put two fingers oh. on those outside yeah, ones, and you'll be able to get the numbers you need to get to 100. Right. Just do it a lot more incrementally. Yes. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like, just wait for... Yeah, then I've got a position there. All right. I was, I was trying to do this way too fast. Right. All right, this definitely gives you some... And I, be, I bet you can get those... Yes. I bet if you do... Okay, you're almost, almost there. Yeah. You've, got, you've got the strategy. Oh! We have this. It yeah. now is just a matter. It's just a matter of doing it. All right. Oh, 
And this is actually a position where when you get to those outer four, you're going to want to just put your fingers on all four, all, or, all four or, or two time. of them, because uh, you're only going to need to get a tiny amount. Oh, man. Yeah, wait, you want to wait for that, num that number three. I'm always way too uh, reckless about how long I can f think I can hold something down. Well, this game definitely preys upon your patience. Yeah, totally. You get really impatient, you're like, oh, I can get that, and you totally can't. Oh, so you gotta, on that you, you don't worry, you're working on those outside ones way too early. I know. Kind of a lot of the value of this game, though, is, is figuring this stuff out like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, these these two middle ones there are basically useless now. You can get a little more out of that yeah, ten. Probably get like you can get like three. Five out of that one. Don't touch that three one again. Okay. All right. But the, that okay. zero down there is useless. Yeah, so I'm going to say you try and position your fingers and try and go for broke on maybe two of those or three of those. Oh! Yeah! Thank God. All right. Oh, that's weird. All right. All right, now they're going to they're gonna choose one of the new mechanics. Oh, I don't think I've even seen these. You can drag what, that. What is, whoa. And then what? It's like air hockey? Uh, yeah, so you, if you run that into totally. it. And then that's it's just an obstacle. Yeah, so this, this, right now this is just teaching, and this I is guess. actually very common for how the game teaches you new variables. Right. It's like, here's specifically how it works, and now we're going to start <laughs> ratcheting it up Great. And, and screwing with you. Oh, God. Uh, huh. Yeah. These ones, I really like these ones, where it's just a matter of like a bunch of them, and you're just kind of tapping just, all over the place to try and eventually get to 100. It's just chaos. Ah! How about this? All right. Oof. Yeah, these are fun. Eat the blades. So what we want to try and do is is uh, use the use oh. the hockey puck to to, you just to try and block. Oh, it. you keep your finger on it. Though. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So like you know so when you when you've got one in a decent spot. Yeah. Try and anticipate where it's gonna maybe go. Right. Nope. That was bad. No, there's not a real science to it. It's more just a. A lot of kind of quick reflexes and stuff. We're just f f you know feeling it out and like then going for broke on one of those. There you go. All right. Oh man. Do you have have you beaten enough of this game to have any idea what these are about? No, I I don't even look at these. Has anybody figured this stuff out yet? Yes, a, I never got around to writing a story about it, but uh, I contacted uh, a guy. He he's, lives in Europe somewhere. Uh, but he was taking a class in cryptography and was able to crack all of these. Wow! Um, so they're they're not, they're not overly complex, but uh, you know, so there's some certainly some cryptographic elements to them. So they're they're meant to be cracked, not uh, so. These are the ones I've gotten so far. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're just going to get the, the the decryption key at the end of the game and then maybe I'm not sure. Surely somebody has finished this game by now. Yes. Uh, are there in fact a hundred stages? I meant like 85, and I then would, I, I, got, hope. I got like infuriated. Two, three, I just have not gotten any further. Seven, yeah, there's 100. All right. And then there, there are some other modes, too. Oh, okay. But I don't know if you can, I think you can access them already. And they, uh, you can see they they track uh, best time and best, like, I don't know what PR stands for, but I think it's like number of touches, number of times you touched a thing mm. down there. But I don't think you can compare leaderboards, can you? Uh, go to main menu? I don't know if... It's got some Game Center stuff. But not a ton. They just put out an update for this that's supposed to fix the, uh... Fix the iCloud. There sync are... And some other stuff. There are leaderboards, but I don't think you can access them through the app. Oh, yeah. I think they're in Game Center. Game so we, Center. We, could, we could check that out before we... Alright. Let's do a couple more. Ah! What are these guys about? They just... Holy God. We. Oh, gee, I didn't know the... Uh. So I, I... Well, I'll let you do this a couple more times before I disclose my strategy. Ah. Always hold it too long. It, yeah, I mean, these are... This is still early yet. They Well into the 80s, they are introducing new mechanics, and including... Oh. The, the razors uh, can be stopped by touching them. Oh. They, they have a timed element to them, so... You'll touch them, and then they will stop for a period of time. There's a countdown timer that you can track. Um, there is a, a ball that will go around 
the arena and freeze objects. And so some of the strategy will be just waiting it out till the randomness freezes all of the blades, and then you can unthaw them by putting your finger on them. No, no. That's not what I wanted to do. That was terrible. I can just keep the blades confined over there. Yeah. Just the problem is now you, once they keep colliding, they gain so much momentum. Yeah. Oh, come on! So close. Oh. It's a tough game. I find the the stage uh, is easy to solve by just hitting, tapping a couple of them um, really lightly with that hockey puck because it is based yeah. on momentum. That's what, so yeah. if you go really, really lightly, they'll just move very, very slowly across yeah, the screen. That's what I was trying to do. I just flubbed it. Oh, boy. Because this is always a challenge when you get oh. to... And that happens every time. So like right. if you move it really, really slowly. Like that. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do in the first place. Oh, God! That's... Then that happens, and then I'm too lazy to start. Well, over. you should pick the pick the ones that are angled to run into those X's. Yeah. And then you don't have to go back and hit them again because right. they'll just come back naturally to the list. And then right. once the list gets broken up, there, uh, there you go. Uh, it's really get to hundred. Mm. Yikes. Yeah. So obviously it gets pretty pretty complicated pretty quickly. Uh. If I don't beat this one, we'll pop out of here. Uh, this was three dollars when I bought it, but I think it was going to go back up to was it five? Was the regular price? Do you know if that's it's, happened yet? I'm, I'm guessing. I bought it. You know, I bought it right when it came out. Yeah, so here. I'm guessing it's back to five bucks, but still, five dollars for it's a lot of content. It's going to take you a yeah. long time to get yeah. through. Yeah, uh, it'll probably take me the better part of a year playing it here and there. Yeah, for a lot of people, I, I think it is a good thing to hear. There are no in-app purchases. Yeah, it's just a game. Just pay your pay your money and and go. Uh, you know, wouldn't be surprised if they produce stuff later. But uh, let's get out of here. It's a very it's a very nice self-contained experience. Yeah, yeah, uh, and, and they're always introducing new elements. That as soon as you've gone through ten, Whoa. you feel like you've mastered what's happening. They're gonna throw something else. Why don't you just go to forty and see what forty is? That a, that's a different saw blade. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. These are the time goals. Ah! Okay. So tap those. Whoa. And they stop. Oh wow. That's awesome. Nope. Oh. Oh man, it's insidious. Oh, you can see the timer on them. Mm -hmm. So you could, oh, you could try to stay on top of it. Yeah, the, the game is a very minimalist uh, oh. aesthetic, but it also communicates a lot with very little. Yeah, totally. Oh, I, you should, could have bumped up that 12. Oh, can you get it? Can you get it? Yep. So what did it do if I... Okay, so I went to the end of what I had available. Right, you have to complete I, X amount. But I have to do a number of these before it Yeah, it doesn't surface that, but go on uh, to I'm going to say it's six or seven. I, li I really like the, the minimal aesthetic, though. I think it's, yeah, it looks really looks, nice. It looks great and sounds great. It's just, it's pleasant. Well... Except for the part where it's incredibly yes, infuriating. Yes. Aesthetically, it is, it's really pleasant to be around. But like any of these... But then good, you play it. But any like these good Twitch games, it's... You know, you always feel like it's your fault. Like, you always yeah, fucked up. Yeah, yeah. It's it's harsh but fair, I guess you would say. Uh, I guess that's hundreds. Do you want to look at our... Game Center and see what the uh, video is? Not really. Okay. It's not it's not out my friends list <laughs> to the world yet. <laughs> Even uh, though we do that in every I'll, other piece I'll, of content we I do. I feel like it's a little different on here somehow. I don't know why. It's someone's phone. Uh, yeah, that's that. And there are definitely people on here that are not on my other friends list. Fair enough. Uh, uh, but yeah, this this game is pretty awesome. It's great. Yeah, you know like, if you like the you know it's. From the Cannibal guys, so they don't put out a lot, but when they do put out something, I feel like it's, it's a game. Good. It's a game that people who like real games can get into, and not f like if you're some kind of anti iOS or anti handheld or mobile guy. Right. Like this is a this is definitely a real game, you know. Absolutely. Like this could easily have been like a 3DS game or something. Yes. Uh, so uh, yeah, this would fit very well on the eShop or something like that. So if you've got some weird hang up about playing games on these platforms, knock it off. Hundred is pretty good. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Thanks, cool. Patrick. All right.